All right, what's going on, everyone? Jared Leon here with Pack a Punch Traders. Just gonna go over a couple of trades from today. Um, BWD took another, you know, attempt at it here, and just took it for a loss. Um, I took it here at 3:36. Ended up cutting it at 3:29. Um, tried to give it a chance, just no volume. Um, and that's just the you know first green day bounce pattern. You know, usually be buying here like the morning high of 334, looking for a nice, you know, usually a 30% move from previous close. So usually was taking my 10%, but no volume, so ended up just fading off. Took a six dollar loss on this, um, and then we had Nerve, which was a multi day breakout over you know 521. Um, next resistance was here, you know, low sevens. Um, got a nice gap up today. It kind of reminded me of Indo, to where you know confirmed the breakout level of 520 in the morning. Got the nice push. Um, volume faded. Ended up holding VWAP, making higher lows really well. Failed to break down, <clears throat> and volume started to slowly come back in. Um, I took my first starter. In the six, I think I got a bad fill. I used a market order, 676, um, just 50 shares. Let it kind of consolidate, do its thing. In here, when it was holding the breakout level and holding seven, I did take my other 50 shares at 710. Um, thought about adding on this dip once it, you know, proved to hold 680. Uh, was making a higher low here, you know, fade in volume. <clears throat> Thought about taking another 50 shares, decided not to. Ended up with it being a, being a really nice ad. Uh, but, you know, initially it kind of just sold right away. Um, we got this original you know, initial pop through and sold half at 760 and then the other half at um, 785. And my goal was eight, but I didn't want to get greedy. You know, it did touch uh, 858, which is a really nice, nice move. <clears throat> but I just took the snipe on it. So, pretty happy with how he played it. Kept it small size. Um, you know, at first, my initial risk was... I didn't really have a set risk. Um, I just kind of wanted to see how it was going to act through that high of day break. And it basically held high of day, so I never really had to worry. Um, and then once we confirmed and started making higher lows, the seven, the 665 ended up being was uh, my risk level. As I continued to make higher lows, um, even when I got my ad, was just continuing to use that 665 as risk. Um, and then we got the you know the confirmation and the push through, and that is sold into strength. So nice little snipe there. So put me green like. I ended up being green. Oh, and yesterday I did take a trade on on BWV. Sorry for the background noise. <clears throat> yesterday I did take a. I did take BWV. I forget exactly where I took it. Um, somewhere in the three forties here, and then it ended up fading into the close, and I just cut it. Um, did take like a thirty dollar loss there, so I was only green on the day, like twenty something bucks yesterday. And then green today, like uh, 72 bucks. So not too bad. Um, just really just trying to keep it, you know, the, the loss is really small, to, you know, keeping to a minimum and let my winners ride a little bit. Um, so, so far, not a bad week. Um, just going to try to keep it up, keep the small size going, try to just stick to the, you know, the ideal patterns and, and that's it. You know, if it's not there, don't take a trade. I'll just walk away. Um, and I will take, you know, if I do see something ideal, I will take a couple attempts on it with small size just to get a feel for it. <clears throat> and we'll be okay with taking the small losses um, just because I know when they do end up working out, you know, my gains will be much bigger than my losses are. So one win should wipe out, you know, a few small losses easily. So that's really it. Just a couple of trades. Um, you know, Nerve was the best one. Had a really nice push. Uh, wish I would have seen it, you know, in the morning when it was holding the breakout level and playing it. You know, I could have played it twice. So, but like I said, not going to get greedy. Um, we're happy with how I played it. Ended up working out really nicely. And yeah, we'll see what lines up for tomorrow. Still waiting on um, 
BBBY to see if we can, you know, finally really bounce. Uh, it's been trying to hold 10. High nines, low 10 ever since it gapped up this morning. And still failing to break down into after hours. So we'll see if this is finally trying to put in a bottom. We can get a squeeze. You know, I'm looking for mid mid tens, mid high tens to go up and test. I don't know. Low twelves, maybe thirteen. bottom at 850s, you know, made this higher low today, really kind of confirmed 10. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if we get a push up to like 16. So definitely keeping BBBY on watch. And then obviously BWV, we're going to keep this on watch for a multi-day bounce. Um, still need to do the watch list, but <clears throat> just a few plays, a couple plays to keep on watch for sure, just those multi-day bounces. Um, and then any other breakouts that come up tomorrow, we'll be keeping that on watch as well. Breakouts, multi-day bounces, and then what I haven't been playing in a while, but it's still one of my favorite patterns is just the open price, you know, the WAP reclaim. Uh, on the first Green Day Gapper. So, I'll be on watch for the morning as well, anything like that that's popping up. But that's about it. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, just, yeah, just the two trades. Green on the day, green on the week. Can't complain. And, uh, you know, I hope, the, I hope that this, like, this video made sense, though. Hope you guys are, like, learning or taking something away from it. Um, if you guys want me to explain or go into depth into anything else, you know, or do anything differently, um, just leave a comment, let me know, uh, and I, you know, I haven't been, I haven't really been making video lessons in a while, so trying to get back into the groove of it. So just let me know if you're going to, you know, do anything differently to make these videos a little bit better. But um, yeah, that's about it, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good night.